tents lined the freeway, others sleep in cars. If shelters are the key to programs that could provide stable housing, why isn't everybody using them? Jennifer Hutchinson, campus director. Major Thomas McWilliams, area commander of Metro Atlanta. Felicia Stewart, I serve as vice president of housing for Must Ministries. We took that question to three leaders at Metro Shelters. Shelters have had a lot of very strict and stringent guidelines. A lot, a lot, a lot. While that's changing, there are still high barrier shelters that need structure for success. Think of job training, substance abuse counseling, or security for victims of domestic violence. And the idea with a low barrier is you can come in drunk um, in hopes that you'll get sober that night and then maybe we can have a conversation the next morning. Low barrier shelters try to meet people where they're at, but there are still restrictions. But they need to be able to take care of themselves if they can't basically change their own clothes. We don't have the staffing for that. Some require an ID, something that often gets lost or stolen when living on the streets. The only thing that we check to make sure that an individual is not on the sex registry. And this is where the segregation of shelters comes in. Men's, women and children. Some won't allow boys older than 13, but families who want to stay together are the fastest growing need they're being priced out of their homes. But even if someone living on the streets can get in, there are reasons why they won't. Perhaps they don't see the point. Getting them an appointment with a psychiatrist can sometimes take months. You need to be ready and have the resource ready for the client when they're ready. Otherwise it's, you know what, I trusted you and now you can't help me. Well, the community may see a shelter as a climate-controlled, comfy bed that comes with food for the night, others see control. We love to choose what we're going to eat for the day, what time we're going to go to bed. When you must be inside the shelter and when you must go. We need to get in there and we need to get things fixed and done and cleaned because we're going to have other people in there that night. So you should either be at work or actively looking for employment because we can pay 100% of your rent, but most apartment complexes, they're not gonna approve you unless you have a job. In some shelters, that means taking your stuff in and out. That's why for some, staying on the street feels easier. There is a sense of community and at least an illusion of choice. It's a very big problem to solve.